Hey there. So this is the pen tablet software from XP Pen. You'll find this works with basically the any of the Artist Pros or any of that. It's going to look a lot like this. If you have the Artist Pro 16 Gen 2 like I do, well, it's going to look exactly like this with the same options completely. But let's go over it. For starters, if you had more devices, well, you could cycle through them. We'll go over that later. Let's just start with basic tablet stuff. So you have your work area. And of course, you could customize the active area. This isn't really something I find myself doing ever. I might adjust the display settings, which I have coincidentally popping up on <laughs> the tablet. There we go. Let's get it back. And you could change your brightness. I keep my brightness pretty low. Contrast ratios, default 50. I have Adobe RGB on right now. You could, of course, change this depending what you're working with. Your color space is pretty cool. You could adjust your color temperature as well. So let me just show you all these options in the meantime. These kind of pop up there. Of course, you have sliders and your color space. Once again, same deal. These are their own special color space. I'm going to keep Adobe RGB. sRGB is another good one. It's really dependent on what you're working on, of course, but you do have the option. And that is awesome for the note. I did not have to change any of my colors. They have been very, very good just out of the box. So thank you for that, XP Pen. Let's get out of there and check out the screen. After uh, you have rotation, it's a monitor. So obviously you're going to have rotation of some sort. And the options are here. Screen. Same kind of idea. You could calibrate your screen here in case your pen's acting strange. Ultimately... It's just your typical customization. You could identify and pops up. I got three monitors in total right now. So customizing your screen area, it's just, this is not something I could really see being used, but it is here. And if it's useful to you, here it is. <laughs> it exists. So let's get out of there and go right to the other settings, which is actually here. So from here, you could disable your pen pressure, disable your tilt. I... I don't really use tilt, so I could probably disable it, but I don't think it makes a difference, so I'm not gonna. But here's your typical, like, oh, you have a really good uh, config file, you know? Yeah, export it. You could save it. But that's about it for this one. Let's go to pen. So for the pen stuff here, you have yourself your... Honestly, this is, like, where the cool stuff is. So essentially, this is actually Paint Tool Side 2. It doesn't have like a built-in logo, but it is real. It exists. So this is one of my settings here. Now, whenever you're on the app, the pen will automatically, or really the software, will detect the app and be like, hey, I'm going to do this customization now, right? So here's my pressure settings, the hardness. If you don't know pressure settings, that's just how hard you need to press it in order to get the maximum pressure. So if I'm pressing real hard here there's a certain it follows the curve i recommend to play around with that because you'll find a sweet spot that you personally will enjoy windows ink i hate i i really recommend to disable that it kind of usually messes up stuff for example if you hold down too long it'll create like a fancy circle for gestures and stuff you don't really want that when you're drawing it just gets in the way so I would just keep that disabled. It is likely it is breaking things, and it's cool that you could disable it right here on the XP Pen software. Mouse mode is kind of interesting. You could play an FPS game, <laughs> te technically, uh, with it, but you don't really, you don't really need it. You're going to typically not have that on. Now let's get to the actual customization. So. This, of course, if you have multiple pens going on, you could select. I have the X3 Pro here. So let's actually just go to Customize. And here's what you could do with each pen button. Now, the way the keyboard stuff works, you could type in a million things. It will do that all at the same time. It won't do that in order. So it's not a macro. It's just things at the same time. So if it's like, if you have a shortcut, that's literally, I don't know, like Control, Shift, Alt, one of those big ones. Just do it like that. If you have a Windows one, you could do like control, you know, Windows. Oh, 
I accidentally enabled my game bar, so don't press Windows G if you don't need it. Either way, you can do Windows things as well and just do stuff like that. Your mouse control, it's going to be the same idea. If you have something like, oh, uh, right alt control shift, it's got everything for you. You could basically set up any sort of short macro, not, not the type of macro where you could just oh, I'm going to put in multiple things in succession and they're all timed. No, this is all a one shot. One time, you press everything at once. Which typically is what you would need in uh, your software anyway. And of course, run application. I don't see this as useful, but it could be. So it is here, ready for you. And disable. So we're actually going to cancel that. And as you can see... They're all the same here, so same idea, same amount of customization. And of course, you could add more apps to your setup here. So if you're using something else like DaVinci Resolve or Blender or anything, just link it and it'll automatically have your settings that you want. And same idea with the settings here. These are actually the same settings as in the work area. Same idea, So just so you could see it. Okay. Next up, and you, you can see the save button. There we go. Let's save. Now, that will be kind of all you get if you get your typical tablets. There is more to it. If you get the Artist Pro 16 Gen 2, it does come with the X remote. So with this shortcut remote, you have a lot more buttons going on. You could actually, depending on how you have it you know, set up on your desk, you could change it just so it makes more sense in your brain. I'm just going to have it like that. That's like the basic because the logo makes the logo perfect. <laughs> Not that it matters. Then you could change your wheel. I have mine on just left and right because it's kind of cool going through like using this as like a video editing tool. It's really cool. As you could see, my default here is actually for Psy and I do have a DaVinci Resolve one as well. Because why not use it for more than one thing? Down over here, you actually have multiple groupings. So you could have... Ooh, I don't want to do any math. 10 times 4. That's 40. 40 buttons. Not including the left and the right and the middle button for the wheel over here. So that's a lot of possible shortcuts. Let's get rid of that. And let me just show you how this works. It's going to be the same exact way as the shortcuts on the pen. Same idea. So you could do your control V, control, you know, control C, control V, whatever. Whatever you do here, it will detect whatever your keyboard is pressing and you're fine. So let's get out of there. Same idea. Now you do have this here. So you could switch the ring function to be multiple functions. You could show the driver panel, which is basically this thing. Switch your monitor, which is nice. Precision mode, I usually don't use, but it's like a mega precision mode in a small box area. The key group switching, that is what will be switching between these guys here. But yeah, this is honestly all there is to it. It's a pretty, pretty nice package. I would say it gets the job done. I think the only thing that could be improved from this would be to have actual macros, like the kind that you input the key and then one second after, one second after, you have, I don't know, another button gets pressed and then another one gets released and that kind of macro. But you have the basic stuff and that is honestly all you need. That's actually about it. So if you did not purchase yet and this was kind of hinging on your purchase here well there you go i hope it helped if it did help out please check out the other videos and i do have plenty of uh content on xp pen i really recommend check out the video on the artist pro 16 gen 2 there's a lot of info there it will be very helpful if you're in the market i also have a discount code mentioned in the video so please check that out but if not just uh I don't know. If you have a question, just throw it in the comment section. I'll be ready for you. Until next time, I'll catch you later.